Hi Rajni, good evening. So let's get started quickly. Um, we will talk about IEP. So what is IEP? IEP is Individual Education Plan. So there are various components under an IEP. So let's talk about different components of IEP. One is so. I try to include as much as possible in this. So, what are the various categories at a high level? That is academics, language, social skills, self-help skills, self-help skills, and last is our behavior. Yeah. So, under each of this we have subcategories. So, under academics we have pre-learning. And then we have pre-writing, pre-reading. Then we have pre-math. And then we have numeracy and then comes the EVS okay so these are the broad categories under academics and under language we have receptive and expressive coming to the social we have oh, play skills in play we have like isolated, parallel and then collaborative, collaborative and next comes greeting, greeting skills, whether how we greet our peers, how we greet our elders and then most important eye contact. So that's about greeting. And next is questions, answering questions, answering questions, that is simple and complex. So, how are you, what's your name, complex questions, how are you feeling today, can we go out and play, like that. So, that's about our social skills. Self-help skills. We have quite a lot here, so I'll try to list as many as I can. And then it's, it's anyways a never-ending list. We keep adding on to it and then we keep, you know, mastering those and then removing those self-help skills as it becomes a part and parcel of our life. So most important to me is the, you know, toilet training. Even in toilet training, we have whether he's potty trained or not or pee trained or not. In potty trained, can he wash himself or not? In pre training, does he follow the steps? So that's about our toilet training. And then comes uh, needs. In needs we have uh, single word, water, food, sleep, and then we have full sentence. Like. I want water, I am hungry, right? So that's about his needs and then expressing opinion. I'm thirsty, it's too cold, it's hard. I mean, expressing how he's feeling, his opinion. I, the water is too cold for me. I want hot water. I know that's a little complex, but yeah. So that comes under expressing opinion is what I think, or you can tell me. After that, we come to you know brushing teeth, brushing teeth, and then wearing shoes. When it comes to wearing shoes, does he know inside out? Um, you know whether uh, right foot or left foot. 
and then dress up dress down dress up dress down and then comes feeding skills feeding you know finger food and then comes your uh, <coughs> spoon food and then roti curry idli sambar dosa chutney like that so that's about her feeding skills and it it goes on the list can go on and on and on so i'll stop it here and move on to behavior so in behavior we have whether it's irritating or injurious and if it's injurious is it self or others so we'll deal with all these things a little later now i'm coming back to academics on ac academics we have pre learning so since i don't have enough space here and i can't go up to the therapy room to write everything in detail erase it on the whiteboard i'm just using the space that i have so i'll start explaining what pre learning is pre learning is anything that's a prerequisite to learning say for example uh matching sorting color recognition shapes recognition identification all these come under pre learning so what do we start with we start with matching so how do we start with matching we start with object to object object to object picture to picture then object to picture then picture to picture and then identical and then non identical so these are the variations that we might want to, we will consider in matching and then once he has mastered these uh, skills in matching we will need to start testing these so once these are achieved on table we move on to we bring him to the reality and start testing his skills without his knowledge that we are testing like um, when he is in the kitchen for example when i when the maid washes the utensils and puts it in a tub we'll tell him to get all the cups get all the spoons so i know it it is under matching and sorting too so we'll start with matching and then move on to sorting so next comes our matching is over then comes sorting sorting we'll start with simple sorting like you know chana dal and then rajma or matter and then rajma peanuts and rajma only two variations to start with and then increase the complexity as he is able to understand the concept and work with it so for now only two variables so chana dal rajma chana dal rajma so that's how i think it needs to be done correct me if i'm wrong and then move on to clothes sorting shirt pant shirt pant similarly mama's clothes dad's clothes my clothes so that's the sorting we are not thinking whether it's the same t-shirt or anything so mama's clothes dump here dad's clothes dump here and my clothes dump here so we able to should be able to identify the clothes first so that's what my target is and then comes our color recognition color recognition say like you always say let's get started with red because that's the brightest of all so if i were to start red which i have already started and um, uh, how do we introduce color first he has to understand that color like you say redness of the red yellowness of the yellow similarly so take about 10 equal sized shaped strips white color and then one red color strip like start wearing the position of the red color and ask him to point or touch red so once he is able to you know touch or point red at various different positions move the sheets away and get objects and then do the same and then keep repeating with different kind of objects and then pictures and then once he has mastered the red color on table then move on to the reality generalization so go slow and generalization is the mantra as you say so go slow it's okay if it takes more time but he has to understand the redness of the red so that's what the color recognition is and then comes the shapes basic shapes square circle rectangle triangle so 
as and when you get an opportunity in your day to day life start introducing shapes it's like look at this plate it's a circle shape triangle look at the samosa it's triangle no the door is rectangle look at this book that's a rectangle shape similarly start introducing shapes slowly so that's about our pre learning yeah and then comes the for understanding and um, oh i think i missed here sorry uh, so writing and reading so explanation purpose i will be com combining pre writing and writing together so what are the prerequisites to writing to be able to hold the marker or a crayon and move his wrist freely to form the letters or shapes or whatever we call it so what what do we where do we start with we start with coloring within spaces and even coloring within spaces we have three different variations as discussed earlier we have one puzzle board where the there is a solid boundary and he will be moving his wrist to color it and then comes the coloring um, with thick boundary coloring within the thick boundary like this this is what my understanding is of thick boundary coloring within thick boundary and then coloring within thin boundary once he is able to master this coloring within boundaries then we move on to joining dots in the joining dots as usual standing line sleeping line standing line and then comes the circle with of course dots once he is able to do this then we do the patterns zigzag patterns sinusoidal patterns with dots once mastery is achieved with dots we move on to freehand movement without the dots so that's the prerequisite to oops formation of letters once this is achieved we start moving to letter formation and how do we start letters we take a a4 size sheet as you said draw four lines across it and make it right within that once he is able to master within these four lines however we want to write so split this into two sets and then three sets and then four sets so on so forth and then once this is achieved you we are ready to move on to the book so that's about pre writing and writing together next comes our pre reading and reading what are the prerequisites to reading identification of identification of alphabets plus sounds that is a a once the identification is done we start moving to sounds recognition and then sounds recognition i think you said you will send me a video of it so i leave it there and then once that is done combining two sounds to make a either a meaningful or a meaningless word once is able to identify and recognize the sound what do we do for what once sounds are done we move on to reading once oh sorry once the sounds are done we introduce concepts of vowels and consonants yeah and then we uh, comes your uh, cvc cvcc and then we move on to reading simple sentences like this is a sheet this is a pen this is a book and then four to five sentences and then comprehension and then question and answer true or false fill up the blanks the list goes on as per the academics um, requirement once this is done we are done with our pre write pre reading and reading next comes our numeracy that is pre math and numeracy so pre math what is the prerequisite to math that is understanding of quantity understanding of depth perception understanding of size in uh, space and then big small tall short like this 
so once he's able to understand these are few these are many this is one this is many we move on to comparatives big bigger biggest tall taller tallest small smaller smallest so these are the prerequisites once he's able to understand this relativity then we move on to numeracy skills where we start with identification of numbers and then road count of numbers 0 to 20 50 100 so on and so forth once the road count is achieved once the identification of numbers is achieved then we move on to number names yeah number names and then uh, there again comparatives um increase in value decrease in value and then ascending order descending order addition subtraction decimal places carry over <laughs> addition subtraction i am not so good at math so bear with me i'm sure with uh, teaching into i mean getting into teaching this issue i will be mastering math also so that's about uh, math skills pre math and then numeracy skills so this is what we have discussed so far and this is the gist of what I have understood from our last meeting. So let me know. Thanks.